So as you can probably guess by now, this was quite a long little chat we had. We had fun with it, and we kept it going for quite a long time. So I tried to uh, find a place where we could cut it and make little manageable and watchable sections so I could post. So without further ado, picking up from where we left off the last one, here's the next one. All right, here's the next the next little topic, I guess we'll say. Um, Did we finish the last one? Uh, probably not. Oh. The Jaeger's kicking in. Yeah. By the way, country music, old school stuff. Uh, the old school stuff shows a lot of skill. People in, in the past, like Roy Clark, who could play multiple stringed instruments. Yes. Now, I know cross-platform string instruments isn't that hard if they're all tuned the same. But when you understand a violin is ch is tuned different from a banjo, tuned different from a guitar, yeah, then you got to understand this man's working on different scales, different uh, chord shapings, different uh, scale patterns, etc. That that was a lot of information. So if you ever walked up to the guy and it didn't seem like he knew too much about this, that, or another thing, that's fine. He's concerned with how to go from A to B. B. <laughs> you know, he's 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 working on other stuff that entertains you. And he's just rolling right along seamlessly. You yeah. don't even know it. Exactly. All that stuff that he's doing that you take for granted because he makes it look easy, that's some hard work. So when you ask him, hey, what did you think of Chet Atkins? And he goes, who? <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, I remember. I, I uh, he wasn't Chet when I knew him, or something. You know, you know, you know how some you yeah. you got to forgive them their social graces because uh, they've got other stuff on their mind. Do you know how you know someone is really, really good when they make that hard shit look effortless? Oh yeah, <laughs> when they when you see somebody live do something, you go, oh yeah, I could do that. No, you can. <laughs> you don't know. Yeah, that's like most uh, of you don't know. Some of you know. That's Some of it. you've tried and you sit down and you, you got your little guitar and you're playing at home and you're pretty good. You can you can play a couple songs really good from point A to point B and to the end and your timing's all good and you hear something and you go, Man, that sounds pretty easy. Yeah, until you pick up that guitar and try it and you go, Oh shit. I remember when I was younger and I uh first instrument I got was a bass guitar. And I learned to play along with a couple of songs. And I could play with them all the time. But the moment I had to do it in a jam session where I had a live drummer and a live guitar player, shit changes. Yeah. All of a sudden, the landscape's a little different, and you have to find footing on ground that you've never been on before. That, that takes a little practice. Oh, dude. I can, I can sit here in this room, and I can play just about... Just about, just about anything. Yeah, you throw in uh, a drummer and a bass player that I have to follow, and some guy's singing the wrong words that I'm keying off of a word. I'm like, no, I can't do it. Oh, there's man. no way. That's why I'm a light man. <laughs> I'm telling you, you get into a situation where you you get a cadence set by a drummer. Now all of a sudden, the drummer's kind of speeding up a little bit. The guitar player is dragging, and you've got to keep a groove. Between the two of them? Yep. Yeah, man, you're talking... That's combat, man. That's war zone combat stuff. You, you <laughs> Especially if you're not... I, I you're not the Jaeger. And when you're not a professional and you... Uh, oh, yeah. There's a difference there between professional, professional and amateur. When amateurs are doing it, it's for fun or... Yeah. Even when they're paid for it to do it live in front of people... There's still a little bit of I really don't care and or I can do this. There are some who are so stickler to it they will practice forever and never get on stage. Yep. And then there are others who some of this you got to work out live, which I kind of believe some of it you got to work out live. You can practice until you're blue in the face. And you got the one you like. We, we played this. It sounds pretty good. We're ready to go out and play. Even yeah. And we get free beer, so I'm gonna get drunk while we're playing. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Everybody forgets about the hops factor. <laughs> what happens once you get a little hops in the system? But you got, like like, like me, like, uh, you know, I, I you key off of different things. Like, okay, there's a change coming up, and it's after the boom, 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 smash, you know, cymbal crash, boom. That's so, professional shop talk. That's right. Boom, boom, smash. 
or a certain little phrase like, okay, after he says da, 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 boom, we know it's going to go. Well, guess what? The singer stumbles, sings the second verse during the first verse, and you're like lost, and you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> and then you're trying to play catch up when everybody else makes the change, and you didn't, and everybody's pointing and laughing. That's when the free bear comes in. Yeah, buddy. Man. But, yeah, there was – I'm sorry. I hate to go back to the subject, but, like, the new pop country is just last year, last century's pop rock. Uh, the old school country, you could tell there was skill in the, the <coughs> instrumentation. And the girl singers are always the best singers in fucking country. Every girl yeah. singer – the guys can go up there nah, 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 nah. you get like from bob dylan to oh god box car willy i mean you, <laughs> you can get all yeah, kinds of yeah you can get all kinds of male vocals but the female vocalists when was the last time you had a wendy o williams in country right you know <laughs> and and when if you think about it <coughs> the whiny crying oh woe is me my horse ran away, my pickup truck broke, and all that other stuff. I'm heartbroken stuff. Doesn't it sound a whole lot better when it's coming from a chick? Yeah. yeah like I said, I always, I always go back to the Patsy Kleins and stuff like that. And even that, I mean, like I said, I don't like the stuff. But if you do listen to it, it's, it's, it's pretty decent writing. And like I said, that, that whiny, my heartbroken shit does sound a lot better to me anyway coming from a girl than some dude about yeah she you know ran off with my dog and keyed my truck and my tractor broke you know you know what I think is funny when when there was back in the 60s the 50s maybe the 40s and they were recording stuff and they used all the slang of the day like Oh, the bee's knees, and you yeah, know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. And now gotcha. today's slang. What do you think today's slang is going to sound like 100 years from now? Oh. What the hell did they mean by all that? Yeah. Who, what, is, what do you mean they woke? <laughs> <laughs> didn't, they, didn't they wake to do look, the song? Look at that boy. He said he shook. Who, I don't see nobody shaking his ass. <laughs> what the hell is the difference between off the hook and off the chain? <laughs> What's for sizzle? <laughs> oh my god can you imagine like the colleges have these linguistic professors who are like the difference between <laughs> for shizzle and my nizzle my nizzle referred to a specific person and now, for shizzle was that was during the time of <laughs> snoop lion not snoop dog oh yeah don't get it twisted <laughs> oh my god can you imagine them time periods in the t <laughs> like the jurassic period would be snoop dog that's it and you got Prince, and the then Mesozoic period or whatever it would be <laughs> Prince, Lion. and then the symbol. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't have an A; he was just a symbol. I believe they called that an emoji. Emoji. That, yeah. He was the originator of the emoji. There was Prince, and then there was the emoji, and then he went back to the Prince. What we do here is go back, 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 back. back.